Hi, the Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com, and I want to show you how to change the default fi file format uh, or the default app for a specific file format. For example, we've got a PDF file here, and when you double click on it, what does it open? Well, currently I've got my system set up so it opens Adobe Acrobat. Uh, that's a pretty large file, and it does more than I really want to do. In fact, most of the time I'd rather just uh, open up the Mac. Uh, OS 10 preview app and so I want to see how to do that so the way to do that is first of all you want to open your finder which is what I've got here I've got finder open uh, you do that by opening this icon or clicking on this icon down here and of course it'll open it up find the file format that you want to use for example I've got dot PDF files I've also got a uh, JPEG file here and you know other files a dot DOC file down here and uh, DOCX so you know I've got different file formats but I want to fix the PDF file what if you can't find a file like that we'll just go up here and search and enter the extension the extension is these last three um, letters of the file name right here okay so that's what you're looking for is you're looking for that extension um, and if you can't see those things, you may have to go up in here to Finder and Preferences and then click on Advanced and see where it says Show All File Name Extensions. You want to put a check mark in that. By default, it's not there. And so you'll want to see that uh, check mark there. Go ahead and close that. And so now, from now on, you'll see all of these will show this uh, three letter or sometimes four letter or more letters uh, in the extension. Just control click on it and that will bring up this menu or if you have the mouse that has a right click button just use that and go down here to get info get info. And that brings up this dialog box here it's a long narrow one and what you're looking for is this open with section right down in this area. It has a drop box so in this drop box we're going to click on the the drop down icon and we're going to find the preview app. Now notice it's got the extension showing. We may not want that all the time, so we'll show you how to get rid of that. But click on preview. All right? And it instantly changes. So now we'll close that Acrobat program, get rid of get info. Now every time we open it it's going to give you a dialog box, a warning, but now each time you open it, it's going to open in preview. If you didn't want preview, you could have picked one of these others. You know, maybe open it in Safari or Skitch or you know something else. iBooks also opens uh, PDF files, but I like using preview instead of Adobe Acrobat, and so that's what I would prefer. You might uh, want to change uh, JPEG files, get info, drop down. Maybe you want to open up in, in Photoshop all the time, or maybe you'd prefer to uh, open them up in Pixelmator to do it, editing, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can quickly open those. Now, as I said, you don't always want to see the dot app. For example, if you go into uh, here, you see notice the accordance dot app. You don't always want to see that, so the way to do that is go back into Finder, Preferences, Advanced, and uncheck Show All File Name Extensions. Now, what you're only going to see is is certain file formats. Like I didn't really need to do that to show the PDF file. I just did it to give you an idea in case you were looking for a file that uh, didn't have its form file extension displayed automatically. In this case, uh, in Mac, by default, PDF files and JPEG files, ping, PNG files, RTF files, most personal files are going to show automatically. And so you didn't really have to do that if you're just dealing with these kinds, but I showed it to you just in case you wanted to see, um, find a file that doesn't have one of those that is uh, available or showing automatically. So anyway, that's uh, how to change the default Mac app in Finder on OS 10. I'm using uh, El Capitan, so if it's uh, slightly different in older versions, 
uh, you should still be able to follow these steps on most versions of OS X. This has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.